turn up the bass. FTC and FRC, do you want to tell us about some of them? Yeah, some of the differences that are really apparent are that the bot's a lot bigger. Um, also, the uh, field control system is different. Well, the brain that we use is a C-Rio versus a, uh, an NXT. And um, as far as manufacturing, there's a lot more industrial play that comes in this year with the uh, FTC. It's a lot for more manufacturing of parts and things of that nature and custom circuit boards. And that's just inherently going to be an FRC no matter what. Uh, what inspires you to be a j referee for FRC? Well, I had a good friend that uh, was heavily involved with the uh, computer stuff, the robots, and so I uh, he moved to South Carolina this year, and he kind of asked me to stand in for him. So I'm kind of doing it as for a friend, and also I'm a mechanical engineer, so it's kind of fun to go over and uh, see what the kids do. It's quite impressive. Can you tell me what's unique about your robot? Well, um, it's it's got hooks because hooks are cool. <laughs> Uh, it, the, we use these hooks to pick up the balls and we have a, a kicker type mechanism that retracts and uh, launches the ball over the truss and into the 10 point goal. How accurate is it? <laughs> We're working on that. So can you tell us what you guys went through to make it all the way down here from Canada to San Diego? Well, the biggest thing about getting our robot down to San Diego was just having enough sponsorships and having a strong enough PR team to get us the funding to be here. And also talking through to the school to make sure we had permission and make sure everything would go smoothly. Our PR team really came through this year to get us where we wanted to be and gave us an awesome opportunity to be here in San Diego. What made you interested to become a volunteer for FRC? Well, it's all about the children and giving back, and um, this event is the greatest learning experience. Um, I volunteered seven years ago, and I've been back every year since. So why does the NDEP um, feel that it's important to sponsor FRC? So we feel it's important because uh, we're Navy Research Labs and NDEP is a program that gives us funding to you know, go out and have our scientists and engineers help these teams, mentor them, coach them, come and sponsor these events because as a Navy Research Lab we, uh, we need U.S. citizens as scientists and engineers working in our labs and you guys are so impressive with the things that you're able to do. We want you to come work for us. So can you tell us what's unique about your robot? Um, one of my favorite things about our robot is everything is student built, like even from every part we machined to every weld on the robot, everything was done 110% by the students, so that's something that not a lot of teams can say. What inspires you to volunteer for FIRST? 
Well, I think FIRST is a really good program. It brings uh, students together to learn teamwork and project management around a really interesting technology. The robot combines a lot of different disciplines and it allows the students to really learn in a practical way uh, the things that they can apply in their future jobs or future, future areas of interest. So you're the only team today who comes from Europe. Um, what did you go through to get all the way to San Diego today? Um, <clears throat> let's see. Well, a lot of our parts that we needed had to be shipped, which meant we had to plan everything that we needed early in the build season, so that way we would actually get it by the time we needed it. And also we had to ship it like the day after build season ended. Uh, in your opinion, what's the best part about being the regional chairperson for FRC? Well, for me, it's all about the impact that we make on all these students. There's 60, 60 FRC teams here and, you know, probably a thousand kids or students and, you know, making an impact on them and having a, a great event like this for them to come and celebrate their accomplishments of building a robot in six weeks is really what, um, you know, makes it worthwhile for me. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh, God. Let's see. <laughs> Bit difficult. Um. Help. Mmm. Just one? Just one. Oh, man. Um. Uh, I would probably have to say. There's lots of words, uh, I guess. Lots of fun. Fun. There, that's one word. Really fun. Like, hugely, hugely fun. Exciting. Uh, life changing with a hyphen. Ingenuity. Difficult. Amazing, I guess. Fantastic. Awesome. Totally awesome. Encouraging. Inspiring. Inspiring. Inspirational. Gracious professionalism. How everyone learns to work together and cooperate and not, you know, be competitive but also be very gracious about it.